90 Day Fianza, Happily Ever After? Star Michael Alsami is in the news for supposedly having been involved in a car accident. Michael from Nigeria and Angela Dean from Georgia first started communicating in 2017 when Michael reached out to her on Facebook. Michael being 20 years younger than Angela didn't bother her. She also didn't mind that Michael was thousands of miles away from her, from a country she believed was the scamming capital of the world. Angela was in love with Michael and wanted to marry him in America. When Michael's K-1 visa was rejected, Michael and Angela got married in Lavos on January 27, 2024. It took Michael four years to come to the U.S., but those years were the most difficult for their relationship. Angela, who had temper issues, started acting aggressively towards Michael whenever she suspected he was being unfaithful. Michael was also caught having an emotional affair with a younger American woman in 2022. Angela could never trust Michael after that, even though she didn't pull his visa. Michael came to the U.S. in December 2023 and fled from Angela's house on February 23, 2024. According to 90 Day Fiancé blogger Moving Mad, they had reached out to Michael before making their video, where they shared some exchanges between Michael and a mystery woman. They claim that Michael did not respond to them. The woman and Michael seemed to have been talking for several months. They supposedly started talking every day. Something happened, which led to the woman contacting the YouTuber. On July 30, 2024, a message, allegedly from Michael, reads, I had an accident some years ago. It has a picture of Michael's car. Michael admits that the accident was his fault. Michael says that he reportedly rear-ended a vehicle after he realized that the person driving in front of him had stopped. The woman asks Michael if he has car insurance and Michael chooses not to answer. He adds that he gave the woman $1,000 and told her he would fix the car. The woman was worried that the driver would sue Michael. As per Michael, the driver of the other car had also started acting funny. Michael's mystery girlfriend assumed that the driver was acting funny because she planned to sue Michael for injuries. Michael's alleged lover feared that the driver would take advantage of Michael because he was a reality TV star. The woman was sure that Michael would lose his license if the driver went to file a report, and they found out he didn't have insurance. However, Michael didn't seem to be bothered. On August 11, 2024, the woman asked Michael if his car was fixed yet and if he had to fix the woman's car. Michael did not answer the question about the other driver, but he did add that he was getting his car ready that week. As per the blogger, the woman in these screenshots is not the same woman that John Yates posted about when accusing Michael of having an affair with a married woman. Regardless, the YouTuber raised suspicions about Michael spending some of the GoFundMe money on fixing his car, instead of exclusively having raised it for his legal fees. The woman in the screenshots became suspicious of Michael's behavior when he started acting sketchy about this particular accident. She wanted to warn fans about Michael, who might not have been 100% transparent about what he wanted the GoFundMe money for. If there was indeed an accident that took place, Michael did not talk about it on social media. He is generally very active on Instagram since he returned to the platform in May 2024 after his split with Angela on 90 Day Fiancé. Happily Ever After? On September 19, 2024, Michael recorded and posted a video of him driving a car and singing along to a song with a friend sitting next to him. Michael is doing fine and seems to have fixed his damaged car if he hasn't purchased a new one already. Kimberly Menzies from 90 Day Fianza, happily ever after, has got back into the dating game two years after her relationship with Usman Soja Boy Umar ended. She originally met her former boyfriend on social media and was drawn to his musical talent, motivating her to pursue a romantic relationship with him. Luckily, Usman wasn't deterred by their age difference and decided to pursue her. Eventually, the couple joined 90 Day Fianza before the 90 Days Season 5 in 2022.
where they met in person for the first time, solidifying their unconventional romantic relationship. Kimberly and Usman didn't seem like the ideal couple, but they somehow managed to make things work. While they were dating, Kimberly made a lot of efforts to impress Usman by traveling to Nigeria to meet him and giving him expensive gifts, such as a MacBook and PlayStation 5. She endured the challenges of long distance with him, hoping she'd become his Nigerian queen one day. However, their relationship never progressed to marriage, and they broke up after a heated fight. During 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After, Season 7 Tell All, Kimberly and Usman claimed they ended things amicably. Kimberly and Usman's relationship deteriorated due to their conflicting expectations. The San Diego woman desired more respect in the relationship, but never received it. On the other hand, Usman wanted to have a child and even contemplated polygamy, making it known that having a child was very important to him. Ultimately, Kimberly decided to end things because Usman didn't love her unconditionally. She grew weary of his body-shaming comments about her and confronted him about it. As expected, Usman didn't take the criticism well and ended the relationship with Kimberly for good. She recently discussed her expectations during an interview with Entertainment Tonight, discussing what she desires and doesn't want in her next relationship. She mentioned she was dipping her toes into the world of dating again and would be open to appearing on 90 Day, The Single Life. Kimberly isn't in a hurry to enter into another relationship or commit to a partner who doesn't meet her needs. Kimberly has set a list of non-negotiables that she won't overlook a guy. Kimberly's primary requirement isn't to date someone significantly younger than her. Her 18-year age difference with Usman caused numerous problems, leading her to no longer seek someone in their 30s. Instead, the 90-day fiancé, Happily ever after, Alam hopes to find a genuine and mature man. Kim has also stated that she probably won't settle down with someone in Nigeria due to her many memories of the place and desire to avoid another long-distance relationship. Her main goal is to be with someone who loves and respects her more than Usman does. In September 2024, Kimberly spoke with Access Hollywood about her current romantic relationship and future plans. She said, I'm talking to somebody right now. He's more my demographic, I guess. The single mom also mentioned that her new friend is from San Diego, which means he lives close to her. However, she explained that she's taking things slowly as they develop their relationship. Kimberly's main focus has been on personal growth and not rushing into a new romantic commitment. She wants to enjoy life and avoid getting too serious about a future with anyone. Kimberly has simple expectations from her new friend. She doesn't want him to gaslight her or play mind games like Usman did. She wants him to treat her with kindness and respect. Kimberly is excited about turning 55 next year, and it doesn't look like she's in any rush to settle down with a man, especially since things are going well in her life. Kimberly has a great job and a supportive son, and she recently purchased a home. The 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After, Alam is content and determined not to let anyone jeopardize her happiness again. Bigged Brown from 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After, has confirmed the wild rumors about his engagement with Portia Raymond that were all over the internet after the news was announced. Big Ed was married in the 90s but got divorced when his wife caught him cheating. He met Rose Vega from the Philippines in Before the 90 Days Season 4, but she broke up when she discovered he'd lied about his height in his vasectomy. Big Ed began dating Liz Woods from San Diego in The Single Life. They'd split 14 times before Big Ed canceled their wedding. Arkansas's resident Big Ed took to Instagram on September 23, 2024 to reveal what happened between him and Portia. Big Ed reached out to his fans to address some recent developments in his personal life. He added that he had recently proposed in what could be best described as a very impulsive moment. 
Bayard noted that after some deep reflection and discussions with those closest to him, he had come to a conclusion. He wrote that it wasn't the right move, and added he has nothing but respect and love for Portia and wished her the best. Big Ed's engagement with Portia was his fourth. He'd met her a week ago at a sandwich shop in Plantation, Florida. Big Ed had reposted photos of his meet and greet where Portia was a guest, and he had signed copies of his photos for her. Big Ed even posed for a picture with Portia where she could be seen kissing his cheek. A day later, Big Ed went down on one knee to ask Portia to marry him. He took a paperclip from the restaurant where they were on a date and made a ring out of it. Big Ed then said that he was interested in appearing in a new show with his new partner. Since his relationship with Liz has been over for over a year, Big Ed needs to keep himself relevant. Liz has already found a new man and there's a possibility she could star in a new spin-off with Jason. Big Ed needed to pull up his socks and find a new girlfriend, but he went one step ahead and got himself a potential wife. However, it seems no cameras were surrounding Big Ed when he proposed to Portia. Big Ed may have convinced Portia that she would become the next big thing after Liz on 90 Day Fianza. Happily ever after, she might have agreed since it's recently been revealed that Liz was an actor in the past and may have faked her relationship with Big Ed for clout. However, Big Ed may have found reasons to believe his storyline with Portia might not be as exciting as the ones with Liz or Rose, and he may have ended things with the Florida woman. It remains to be seen what Big Ed does next to keep himself relevant. 90 Day Fiancé The other way star Statler Riley is being linked to a shocking co-star after she spoiled her season 8 storyline by revealing Dempsey Wilkinson had cheated on her. Statler from Texas started her reality TV journey in Before the 90 Days Season 6. Statler had met British woman Dempsey on a dating app and decided to move to England without telling her girlfriend. Statler's decision took a toll on her relationship with Dempsey, who thought things were moving too fast. However, it was ultimately Dempsey that initiated the demise of their relationship through infidelity. Reddit user SpriteWrite recently shared a screenshot of a video posted by Statler on TikTok. It showed Statler being lovingly fed a piece of pastry and her taking a bite with her eyes closed. The caption said, Devin, I love you. I do need you on Statler's video. She also tagged Devin and added a ring emoji with a question mark, suggesting she was proposing to her through the video. Another screenshot showed Devin who was sitting in front of Statler at a restaurant smiling. They'd actually probably be a good match tub, user intelligent underscore pop 1173 wrote. In September 2024, Statler decided to answer questions fans had about her life on her IG stories. Statler was asked if she was coming back to the show with Dempsey. Statler revealed that she wasn't and that the show was a wrap for them. Someone wanted to know Statler's relationship status as well. Statler revealed she was single. Statler now suggesting she's interested in dating a fellow co-star who got married on 90 Day Fiancé season 10 is likely a joke. Statler and Devin may have teamed up to create a TikTok that would confuse their fans and critics alike. Statler likes creating fun content on social media. She also has declared she won't be coming back to the show. Statler reportedly did not film the tell-all for her season. She is done with reality TV. However, her bonding with a fellow cast member could suggest that she wants to come back to the franchise, this time with a new partner. Statler claimed she was convinced to do the show by Dempsey. This time, it could be Statler's choice. Devin has recently moved to Austin with her husband Nick Ham, and she could have decided to meet Statler there. Since Statler is no longer a part of the show after 90 Day Fiancé, the other way after she accused the showrunners of stealing her 90-day house idea, Statler's trying to find ways to keep herself relevant. Statler is looking for attention, and these rumors of her dating Devin have brought Statler's name back in the news. 
Statler might be following a TikTok trend to keep her followers entertained. Statler was left heartbroken by Dempsey, who cheated on her with a woman who was a friend. Statler wouldn't want to be a homewrecker after what happened to her. Former Darcy and Stacy, cast members Darcy and Stacy Silva, show off their natural beauty without photo filters during their 50th birthday celebration. The twin sisters became iconic faces of the 90 Day Fiancé franchise due to their drama-filled romantic lives and wild personalities. Darcy and Stacy have continued to surprise fans with their physical transformations off-camera. Over the years, the Silva sisters have completely altered their appearances through plastic surgery and weight loss. Despite undergoing numerous cosmetic procedures, Darcy and Stacy love posting edited photos and videos using heavy makeup to look picture-perfect. One of Darcy and Stacy's friends, Kelsey Zubkoff, recently posted photos of them on their 50th birthday. She shared multiple snaps, showing the Silva sisters with light makeup. The first photo showed Darcy wearing a stylish designer dress and confidently styling her silky platinum blonde hair. She had glamorous makeup, including mascara and light lipstick. Stacy, like Darcy, wore a coordinated black outfit and similar makeup. She left her hair down and accessorized with a sparkly necklace that complemented her radiant skin. Both women looked incredibly beautiful in their 50th birthday photo, radiating natural beauty without relying on excessive filters. Darcy and Stacy's unfiltered photo reveals they have finally achieved their desired appearance. Over the years, the Silva sisters have made efforts to look like Barbie dolls undergoing different types of cosmetic procedures. Some of these procedures improved their appearance, while others didn't receive a lot of support or compliments from Darcy and Stacy fans. Darcy and Stacy's recent unfiltered photo showcases that they're in the best shape of their lives, indicating that their plastic surgery transformed them in the best way possible. Though Darcy and Stacy are no longer natural, they now look better than ever in their 50s. Darcy and Stacy's unedited photo not only shows their physical appearance, but also reveals their hard work on losing weight and toning down their bodies. As people get older, losing weight while maintaining muscle mass becomes increasingly difficult. However, Darcy and Stacy appear more toned than before after shedding 40 pounds each. They both have defined jaw lines, pointed chins, and ideal upper body shapes and curves giving them a Barbie doll appearance, just as they desired. The Silva twins seem more confident in their appearances than ever and no longer depend on photo filters to feel beautiful. They don't seem overly focused on ensuring all their photos are edited. Still, it's possible that Darcy and Stacy may not have control over what others post and could not ask their friend to edit their pictures. Perhaps they allowed her to post raw pictures online, hoping for a positive response. The comments indeed indicate that fans don't have an issue with Darcy and Stacy's looks. Many Darcy and Stacy viewers say that the Silva sisters look beautiful, 